Lots well, of bad stuff. Lots of bad stuff. Yeah, lots I of good. Was... It's it's all wrestling. Rass. It's all love. W r a s s l i and that's rat. Hit that button. He did. I did. Russ, we're alive. Welcome to the One Fall Wrestlecast. Oh, yeah. What's up, dudes? Done. Nada. Zero. How you doing, fellas? Thanks for having me. It's a great oh, day. Thanks for, thanks for joining us this week and gracing us with your presence. I mean, we're just so very fortunate to have you in our lives. Where the hell you been? I feel that way. I hey. feel that way. That was actually pretty good, man. That, that I was good. I don't know, that I like made that. me laugh, right? Yeah. Where the hell have you been? He <laughs> left. <laughs> well, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> just peaced out. He just <laughs> left. You like, know, what? apparently, apparently, like you know, as he's aged, he, he wants to spend less and less time in front of people. And Stephanie always says, like in interviews and stuff, it's like I always got to push him out there. It's like, Dad, like whether you believe it or not, they want to see you. They want to hear you talk. I mean, his music hit, the crowd popped. Oh, my God. That was one of the loudest pops of the night. Yes. It was not the loudest, though. No, it was not the loudest. Because it was up there. That Edge live crowd pop it's, was something special. It proves that Edge is way more over than anybody else. Well, I, I mean, they were loud for Roman, too. They booed the shit out of him. Yeah, which was um, awesome. And yeah, I want to talk about I want to talk about Roman today, guys, but I don't want to get there yet. So... We're recording on Wednesday. Uh, Derek's missing AEW Dynamite. Sorry, bud. No. Yeah. He didn't watch it live. No, I, I never really watch it live. It's fine. Well, yeah. I, I've already got to a be spoiler honest, for you. I'd be watching the expansion draft, to be honest, if if I were actually watching TV right now. I, I, but I, got a I, for you. I saw all the stuff anyway. All right, go ahead. What? What, what, what? So I guess Wait. one of Chris Jericho's opponents is going to be uh, Nick Gage. Oh. That's he like. Fun. Showed up on Dynamite to kick off Fighter Fest Night Two. I fun. see. I'm also so willing. It's to not going to be CM Punk. Uh, well, I mean, that's a that's a rumor that's happening too. But I don't, I don't want to get into CM Punk quite yet. Okay, man. What how many I, people we got to talk about today? What I do want to get into is this little tidbit of information that Daniel Bryan has officially signed, officially oh, unofficially man. signed with AEW. Now, this story was broke just mm. about an hour ago by Bodyslam.net and their writer Cassidy Haynes. Haynes um, yeah, saying that uh, Daniel Bryan's looking for more money, less dates, more <laughs> creative sounds, input. That sounds and right. And the opportunity to work. In Japan, and guess what? Apparently, he's locked in. It's a done deal. So he may be one of the three mystery Jericho opponents here coming he's up. He's got to put the pen to paper. Uh, did they ever have a feud? I feel like they probably feuded at one point. Jericho and uh, did that? And and did they have a feud? <laughs> Look at your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I really don't want Brian Danielson with mixed with my AEW. Oh I'm, I'm good. my god, look at your face. You are <laughs> so pissed right now. I am. Like, are you more pissed about <sighs> about Brian Danielson signing with AEW or Brandon Tanev getting yes. plucked away from the Pittsburgh yes. Penguins today? It's I'm just not- been a bad day all around. I love Tanev. Tanev getting and, Yeah. That's shitty. So how about how about Toronto trades for McCann and then doesn't protect him? And then how about we lose two assets because of that? Because we yeah. trade McCann, but we free up seven million. So I don't know. It is depends real. on what you do with the seven million. Hopefully we don't go back and try and sign Jack hey, Johnson again. Listen, pal, don't deflect. I asked you a question. What hurts what? more, Brian Danielson signing with AEW or yeah. the Penguins losing Tanev? What bothers you more? 
overall, it's more the Penguins losing Tana because I can change the channel when it comes to Brian Danielson. <laughs> One thing that makes me sad about this is if all these things are true that you'd mentioned there about creative control, money, less dates. No, 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 being, I didn't say creative control. I said creative more creative input. input. Freedom. Oh, sorry, I sorry. Freedom, but okay. Um, it just all screams WCW. It's very. Wait, what? Like I'm, oh, wait, I'm, I'm well, reliving. Uh, 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 yeah. What about uh, again? Hey, what? Didn't, I didn't realize Bischoff was doing booking again. I mean, I guess. Uh, he's, he's, uh, what uh, is it? We have the clip. We have a clip loaded up of, of us calling this WCW 2.0 like a year ago. And Derek said, "No, nah, no, no. Nah, they're, they're much better, better than that. They're, not, except, they're, not, they're yep. not gonna sign every jabroni they release from WWE. Yeah, they really have been lately. Like, <laughs> just sign everybody. Sign every last person. And we don't want CM Punk. Let him go no, fight another gonna, UFC match and get his ass kicked again. They're gonna probably sign Braun Strowman once he's there. <laughs> yeah. Did, yeah. Hey, did hey, you guys see that dust up around Strowman? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. What happened? I guess WWE posted some tank tops that was like the monster among men or a monster walks among us. One of those dumb shirts he had and they posted it in the new merchandise section and the IWC went to fucking work. They were like, oh, Braun Strowman's going to come back to challenge Bobby Lashley. Ah. <laughs> he might. Yeah, I mean, they're might. literally signing everybody that's, that they were that AEW no. has scooped up all of them. Uh, Those are actually I, Goldberg tank tops, I think is what the I, I couldn't imagine. Look, if Ada if, if AW gets the chance to sign Braun Strowman, they ought to. Let him and Brian Cage meat slap each other. Men just, just meat slapping. <laughs> All right, for anybody listening on the podcast side of this, please tune into the video around the seven minute mark and <laughs> you will get one hell of a laugh. Oh my god. The meat That's flapping like. example. Yes. <laughs> Big meat slap. So <laughs> listen, like I think that signing sign and Brian Danielson's a good call for AEW, but it's a good like, call for anybody that signed Brian Danielson. Good lord, he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. Yeah. And one of the better creative minds as far as well. Right? Like, I mean, he was doing some of the best creative on SmackDown until, you know, like Triple H stepped in and started doing a little bit more with SmackDown. So there was that. So good. SmackDown I don't know that it's good. as good, but it's still good. Um, How good was that show on Friday, though? Like, if we're being uh, honest. The crowd. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how much I missed the crowd. Because, like, at first it was like, oh, it's kind of weird without the crowd. But then, like, when the crowd was back and you get the reactions and stuff, it's like, oh, man, this is what wrestling's been missing for the last Yeah, the Friday show was amazing. Yeah, Agreed. Because you didn't get that really with WrestleMania, although there was a crowd, but it was, like, open, so it went out instead of, right. they were, like, what was it, like, 60%? Yeah, that, too. That was a sold-out, whatever, 27,000 people crowd. In an outdoor venue. Yeah, yeah, just... But I mean, the crowds have been awesome. Um, yeah, you know. So I don't know, man. Like I, I feel like this, this, this Brian Danielson thing. If it's true, even you know, this is some, you know, somebody from from the internet world that's saying that this is a done deal because their sources told them so. So I mean, I definitely be interested to see what happens here. But wait till I, old Dave confirms it. I mean, and even like people inside of WWE haven't even been touching DB because they feel like he's going to sign with AEW. Well, if you noticed, he was when they did that little vignette going into Friday Night SmackDown. uh, Daniel Bryan was there. Yeah, that's like for the last seventy weeks. There's been some. There was a Daniel Bryan clip there. So Mm -hmm. it's totally possible that this is bullshit. Yeah, totally. Uh, You know, but I mean that that is the one of the better moments. Like with fans was. You know, I mean, I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that, like, why would they put that in there if he was literally about to sign with, so, uh, you know, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I my mean, speculation is. I don't know. It, it, it'll definitely, definitely be interesting. And then, like, here we are again talking about CM Punk. It's like, bro, like, shit or get off the pot. At this point, you know, like, for the last couple of years, it's like, oh, maybe he'll sign this time, you know, and, and you kind of get a little worked care. up about it. You know, yeah. like. I want to see. I, I don't give a shit if he ever gets in the ring. I just want to listen care. to him talk. I mean, 
I don't care if he I don't care if he gets in the ring. I don't care if he signs. I don't care if he does a podcast. I don't I, I don't care. I, I can't tell you how much I don't care about CM Punk. It's just I want to see him come out and smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol and smoke weed since he's completely straight edge. Then I'll care. <laughs> then I'll care. put it on pay per view. I don't care. <laughs> CM Punk breaks straight edge live yeah. on pay per view. Yeah, I'll tune in at that. I won't even do our uh, wonderful best kept secret, worst kept secret, I guess you should say, in wrestling for uh, skirting around the pay per view fee. I would actually pay for that one. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Super duper secret. Secret. Everybody knows. Anyway. Um, so how about like Tom? What what are we gonna do, bud? Like Hulu and WWE, like the, their contracts coming up. I mean, so what are we gonna do? Is I still have cable, so I mean, I can I have the Fox app and I have the USA app, and I could just watch it streaming on that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's dumb. I don't like that. Uh, but that's that's what's gonna have to happen. Uh, for Raw, honestly, it's probably going to be watching YouTube clips more than anything else, at least until Raw gets good, if it ever does, because, I mean, you know, I'm sure there'll be a way to watch it, like, after the fact, but as far as actually wanting to watch the full three-hour piece, uh, you know, second for second, pound for pound, I, I can't seem wanting to do that willingly. Uh, you know, it's one thing to to watch clips between work stuff, uh, or or just to have it on. You know, while I'm while I'm doing you know boring nonsense work or like you know just clerical stuff. But right, it's not it's it's different. You know, to when it's like oh you got to pay attention for three. I was like I I don't even want to watch like and ninety minutes of this is tough. Like let's not yes. let's not let's not force the three hours. Um, so yeah, I I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it ends up somewhere else. Hopefully it's just on Peacock. Uh, the next day, in a, oh, in yeah, a yeah. peacock. That could be yeah, good. that's what we discussed earlier. The, I'm hoping that would be the case. You mean the 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 fucking streaming service that the WWE cock. sold their souls to for yeah. five hundred fucking trillion billion dollars, and they can't even get through a fucking three hour pay per view without it, the stream crashing? Uh, yeah, I mean, that? I can't yeah, even bitch cool. about the fact that we don't have a pause button. I guess until they can actually get through Jesus, the stream without crashing. Right? Like, yeah. dude, so. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I don't know. Those of you that might follow us on the Twitter, I, I took over the Twitter account on Sunday. Oh, and, you did. Uh, I did. I got a little, a little carried away, too. So, well, thought, thought that came to mind, right? So, how about fucking the WWE Network has been a thing for what? A decade. Ten years? Yeah. Yeah, ten they, years. They, they've put on hundreds of pay-per-views. Hundreds. They were shaky at first, but yeah. But they didn't have these kind of problems. No. So Even if they did, it was a straight up startup. And this is fucking backed by NBC. Right? Yeah, this, this has been the bullshit. Peacock's been around a year and a half or so. So you're telling me that you made a switch to this to this streaming service, this streaming platform, and then they're not equipped to handle the volume of your live events. But we can't start them over because they're not ready for that yet either. And we can't pause it because they're not ready for that yet either. Um, you can't navigate their fucking menus. I mean, good luck. Yeah. If, if you're really not watching a WWE problem. Network original, you're shit out of luck. Yeah, you got to. Re- yeah, you really got to like. You got to know what you're looking for. You, yeah. You can't browse around 100%. to find something. You got to know. You got to know what you're trying to find, right? Right. And also, if you their, don't know, their system. If you don't know, you're Daniel looking for. Terrible. If you don't know, you're looking for WrestleMania six. Good luck finding it. Why the fuck would you no, watch WrestleMania? It would be WrestleMania well, season watch six, WrestleMania six, episode on. one. The <laughs> Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to fucking watch that train wreck? Hold on. There was a uh, there was, what was Young Tom was does. A, little Tom. I do. Hold on. There was something else too on there. Uh, Brooklyn Brawler was on there. Oh. Coco Beware. Earthquake. Yeah, you're right. Why would I want to watch this? Uh, Heart Why would you? Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Are you done? It's the most yeah. overrated WrestleMania of all time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Maybe Rick Rude versus Jimmy Snuka. That's a, not a bad one. Ah. 
That's a, not a bad one, but yeah, Hogan versus. Come Warrior on, Bretta. Very bad. Come on, yeah, Bretta. Bretta. That's a terrible card, Bretta. That's a bad. You're right. It's bad. I'm okay. Okay. So we're talking about Monday Night Raw, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not ready. To, okay. Um, I fucked up because I'm not done bitching about this yet. So I said about fucking Peacock, right? So we talk about the WWE Network streaming hundreds of pay-per-view events without a problem, right? This mm-hmm. is the fourth event that Peacock's had to stream. The fourth one. This is only the fourth one? Yes. And they've had problems with seems like three of them. Seems like there's been so many. You know the one that they didn't have problems with? All the the first one. one. Well, which, that one was which, also which, which, on the which, network, though, too, right? Which was yes. the first one? WrestleMania? <laughs> so no. The no, load the size uh, was probably very small. What was it this year? It was like the Great Balls of Fire one. Yeah, okay. Not Great Balls of Fire. Road, was it Roadblock or whatever? Fucking, it doesn't Back matter. Or Fast Lane. Yeah, Fast, fast lane. lane. It's one of those fucking uh, throwaway yeah. ones. It's the only one they didn't have fast a fucking problem sucks. with. Like, fast get lane the actually fuck out of here. It wasn't too bad, if I if I recall. Uh, I'm just like historically, that's never one that I've gotten excited for. You know, well, it's almost does. like a, we got to do this before we get to WrestleMania. All right, come on. It's the fast Whatever. lane to WrestleMania, right? Yeah, the because the Royal lane. Rumble starts the road to WrestleMania, right. and then you got to uh, be in the fast lane, Bretta. Thanks, Bretta. pal. Bretta. You're welcome, guy. <laughs> no, so, you're right. Yeah, I, I mean, they mucked up a lot of them. What was. I didn't have any trouble with. Well, this was this was Money in the Bank. What was the last one? Um, backlash. I didn't have any trouble with Backlash. I didn't have any trouble with Backlash either because I watched it the next day. No, I watched it. I watched it late, but I watched it like I. I at least I was able to start from the beginning when I came in late. Now at least that feature exists. <laughs> That didn't used to be a thing. It just was just like, oh, you're late. You oh, just gotta watch. You can do that now. That's I can good. do it on. I can do it on the PC. I can't do it on the on the stick. I think I did oh. it on. I think I watched it on the PC. So that's that, that makes sense. Make sense oh, okay. Because um, yeah, I think I had it on, and I was also playing Mortal Kombat. Um, that, but that's fair. Yeah, but, We're uh, just now getting to the point that it's on the stick, though. So you know they're gonna get the the short end of the stick, so to speak. <laughs> Oh, is when it, it was it not on? Was it was it not on the Fire Sticks? It wasn't on. It's it's nah. coming to Fire Sticks. Still not. It on is Fire now. Sticks. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Not. Yes, it is. I. It's not. I fucking have it, and it's in the store. And it's, since when? I'm gonna, cause I I'm gonna test like this later. Ago. I have three so weeks many, ago. I have so many fire products that I'm I gonna swear. Put okay, well, you better hope you're right, because if not, I know where you live. That's fine. <laughs> so did I you will give you a are. cold beer once you get here. So, did you guys watch Monday Night Raw this week? Um, no. I've I seen enough clips. clips. I've, I've, yep, I've seen yep, same. Okay. I, I know what happened. So, yeah. I sat down at I sat down at nine thirty and decided I was going to watch the second half of Monday Night Raw. Right? Yeah, good, good for you. Mm, bless your yeah, heart. Yeah, it was awesome. Bless I've got I've got things to talk about. Okay. So, I sit down, and I turn on my TV, and I see a graphic: Karrion Cross versus Jeff Hardy next. I'm like, cool. This is right? cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Got the mm-hmm. NXT championship around his waist. They're billing him in as the NXT champion. Uh-huh. Come back from commercial break. Mm-hmm. Carrying across his music's playing. There he is. You know, looking all fucking big. And, you know, Vince McMahon's probably back there fucking churning one out in Gorilla. Couple knuckle babies, right? <laughs> like Scarlet, get out of the way. You're blocking my view. No Scarlet. No, no fog. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. No. no crowd reaction. The crowd gave zero fucks that he was there. Yeah, they should have given. Right. Him, I suppose, they they yeah. definitely should have. Yeah. So he walks to the ring, and then here comes Jeff Hardy. Okay, a guy that we haven't put on television in oh, I don't know eight weeks. It's been a little bit. I don't know that it's been eight I weeks. I don't know. It's been a while. Okay, so. And now he, he, got his, it, he got his old music back. Yeah, so it's his big baby face moment. He got his fu- he got his fucking music back, right? So here comes Jeff Hardy trotting down to the ring, doing fucking Jeff Hardy things. The bell rings. A minute and thirty nine seconds, and Jeff Hardy pins Karrion Cross with a fucking roll up. 
with a roll up. He put his he put his legs up on the uh, ropes okay. there too. Uh, th- th- oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm just saying. Wait, Jeff so legs we're, we're talking leverage. about a guy. Yeah. We're talking about a guy that has been with the WWE system for going on three years now. Yeah, he's undefeated he, in the last year. He's not lost a match. Yeah, he's 14 and out in the last year and a half or whatever. That's not a real number, but. I, he's, I mean, I don't know that it is or not. He's, but he's not been pinned on television since he's come to NXT. And he lost to Jeff fucking Hardy in one minute and 39 seconds. Is Vince no. trying to bury Triple H? Are, are, are Vince and, and, and Paul on a disagreement of some sort right now? Where is the there some been? sort of family squabble going on? This is fucking absurd. Well, yes, I agree. Uh, and I feel like that's what the – I think that's how the NXT locker room took it as well. Like, oh, my God, they, he's burying our brand as a whole. Because, yeah, he's the – I mean, he's the dominant fa- – he's their dominant champion, right? Like, he's been – Like, he's booked like a mo- – he's booked like – remember when The Undertaker came up behind AJ Styles? That's how they book Karrion Cross. He's the, yeah. he's that moment all the time. Yes. <laughs> He's always yeah. that moment. <laughs> so that like, was a him down, analogy. And somebody goes, <laughs> and then Kerry Cross just <sighs> behind him, and he's like, oh, God, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man meat. Yeah, oh. I'm over. I'm, yeah, it's exactly. He's, it, he's I mean, man meat. It's absolutely over, right? So I saw the argument today, and like, so WWE has taken a hard stance that NXT is developmental again because you know yes again okay so, because it wasn't for a but while I'm gonna flip this on them so it's okay so the the comment was well nobody's ever really not looked at it as developmental but like you know even though Triple H is like trying to change the rhetoric that they are a third brand and some of us would argue that it's probably one of the best brands right it's I love the Tuesday night show. It's probably better than it's. I mean, I missed it yesterday, and I'm I'm gonna watch it probably when we're done here if I'm still awake yes. enough about it because I'm uh yeah, it's definitely on my to do list. So the developmental argument comes about again, right? And uh, somebody had had replied to the in the forum I was reading that said, "Well, yeah, it's absolutely developmental. You know, that's where." where guys go, you know, that come in off the indies and they, they try to learn the WWE ways and this and that and the other true statement, true mm-hmm. statement. Well, they go to the performance center. They don't come right to television. Though. Right. But so then they go to NXT and then you get call-ups, you know, Rhea Ripley, Keith Lee, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, just to name a couple, right. The most recent ones. Mm-hmm. And sure. where are we at on Keith Lee? Uh, I mean, he fucked come back and he lost in three minutes to Bobby Lashley. He didn't even put up a fight. No, he didn't. So beat the tar out of him. Vince like is looking at this quote unquote developmental thing all wrong because these guys are in developmental and they're developing personas and characters to go to WWE to have their WrestleMania moment. And, and and they spend all this time in NXT developing these characters to go and be these larger than life entities in the WWE for Vince to say, Hey pal, I know you worked the last three years um, to be this just monster, but uh, I need you to lose to Jeff Hardy uh, in, uh, in, in two minutes there, pal. Can you can you do that for me? Clean pin. No, no, no. Wait. He's going to put his feet on the ropes. Brilliant. And oh, and your, him- your, your valet wife also, don't forget her. She's yeah. got to stay home. She got to stay home. And then – but we're going to send you back to Tuesday night and expect people to believe that you're a dominant champion. Oh, and that you still haven't lost. <laughs> right. Like, you're still, well, there's, fuck. there's no, uh, there, there's no, there's no continuity between NXT and I don't understand why there's no continuity between NXT, NXT. Well, between NXT and NXT UK, there's continuity but yes. between NXT, NXT UK and main roster. There's no continuity because when they pulled up, if you remember when they pulled up um, Viper Piper Niven, now she's Dewdrop. They're like, ah, oh, who is this mystery woman? It's like, 
you should know who she is. Yeah. <laughs> she's she, she's been on TV a lot. She's been Why would you not want to promote your own product? Yeah, like she's been around for a while. Not only has she been around, she's been she's really good. <laughs> like right? she puts on really good matches. It's, matches. it's like you watch SmackDown and like it's a competing network for Christ's sake, and they're yeah. jamming Monday Night Raw down our throats. How do you not want to promote a a, a program that is, is your own creation? Like, are you kidding me? It's absolute insanity to me. It's, and the disconnect between NXT and WWE is astounding. W- why even have NXT if you're not going to utilize it to create future fucking stars? Now, I say future stars. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. What do we do? We turn around and we bring back fucking Goldberg. <laughs> He's not even a WWE star. He's WCW. Hey, he's a WWE Hall of Famer, pal. Oh, man. So are lots of WCW guys. That's my fucking point. And it's like, what What are we doing here? You've got this these golden opportunities to take somebody like Karrion Cross or Johnny Gargano or, you know, Tommaso Ciampa and, and, and create future stars. Karrion well, Cross is a prime example of a future oh, yeah. star he, for WWE. Oh, yeah. He's the kind of guy you'd send him out there with the gimmick he's got. You do exactly what they're doing with him in NXT. Don't just, change a thing. Just bring him up. Just yep. bring Do the same thing. And it's he's he's a, he's by WrestleMania. He's you could absolutely believe he could beat Brock Lesnar or whatever. Don't He'd don't be like a thing. budget Brock Lesnar. I mean, yeah. not being a dick about it. I'm being serious that his no, contract I mean, would not have to be well, insane. Like you Brock book him like you, they booked Brock Lesnar yeah. back in 2002 before he had yeah. that big stupid sword thing it, on his chest. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I mean, that that's always been there. By the way, that that came through his skin as he uh, fought. <laughs> so it just, it just emerged. It wasn't. Yeah, don't, he don't, didn't get yeah. that on. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't by choice. That's I just how his emerged. man meat has developed. I can't. I can't. So, like, we have this great moment at Money in the Bank, right? Big E wins the, wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. I loved it. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Okay. Uh, uh, and and I teared from, up. from a fan standpoint, you look at it and you go, I can't believe they actually fucking did it. Well, it was like when they did it with Otis last year. Right. Remember? And then yeah. it, nothing, nothing. I, I, I can't believe I they did. I swear to God, if the Miz gets out of his wheelchair and steals this briefcase from Biggie, I'm gonna be <laughs> right. pissed. Right. Hey, to be fair though, gentlemen, Otis losing the Money in the Bank briefcase was the best thing to ever happen to his career. Oh, for sure. So, uh, did you see him? Okay, not to not to derail this too terribly, but did you see? Like, oh my God, Otis on. I, I it was a little quick thing. If it wasn't for like Chad Gable coming in and like kind of mucking it up and sort sort of shortening the segment, um, man, that would have been a, that that match was was getting getting going. And then you know they they, they squashed everybody and he Vader bombed him. Oh man, that's the, for me. That's like when you got a guy out there who looks like that, and then it's just like I'm gonna do Vader stuff. It's like yes, you love are. It. Please love it. Just How do it for it? me. Do How it for it? me. Kind of like uh, Brodus Clay. I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Bronson Reed. I apologize. Yes. I didn't. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was an accident. Uh-huh. It really was. Anyway, back. What were we talking about? Um, uh, we were talking about uh, Yeah, we were talking about um, Big E winning the the Money in the Bank, right? So they finally fucking did it. That that. So, why not on Monday night? Bobby Lashley comes out, cuts promo in the ring with MVP. Why not trot Big E out there on Monday Night Raw? I mean, uh, Bobby Lashley just beat the fuck out of the New Day for the last six weeks. It makes perfect sense in the in in the storyline. You mean you mean in kayfabe it makes sense? There's there's kayfabe now. Yeah, uh, I mean you're trying to tell because me a Bobby story. Bobby Lashley because because Bobby Lashley because uh, Big E is on on SmackDown, and if you remember, they got rid of that rule. That allowed the people to cross over sometimes. Remember that rule? So it was okay for whenever Edge won the Royal Rumble to be right. on all three shows. Yes. But you've got a guy that's got the same stipulation. He can just do it at any time. He's right. not allowed to he's not allowed to go to a different show. 
No, no, no. he's not allowed not to edge. go somewhere where it makes right. sense for him to be with that briefcase. Right, because he's not yeah. edge. So this is what I'm saying. Week in and week out, Monday Night Raw gets fucking worse and worse. And then you fucking try. Break- so it was. I watched a, some clips and some clippage. It was. Ter- it looked like it was terrible. It looks like Bleacher Report was not kind. Let me put it that way. Uh, they gave it several C minuses and Ds. Uh, I got a C plus here for Jinder and Drew McIntyre. That'll be fine. I'm glad to see at least Drew fight somebody else. I guess it's nice that Jinder's back, but he's kind of. It'll sucked. be fun. It's gonna be fun. It'll be yeah. It'll be better. I don't want to. Yeah. It'll be better than more of the same. I just think it's kind of dumb that they got rid of his two lackeys and now he has two. Yeah. New well, lackeys. Who, who are these guys? Skanky and Rear. Yeah, is legit yeah. one named like Skank or something? Like I seriously thought that's what I heard, and I was like, yeah, I don't know, I'm not uh, wanting to it's find beer, out. It's beer, beer and Skanky, Shanky. Okay, Shanky. no, it's Skanky Rear. No, it's, it's Shanky. It's Shanky. Shanky. Skanky Rear. Yeah, right. Shanky, Shanky Rear. Yeah. He yeah. will. Well, one the you. one of the dudes. I'm not sure which one, but he got he got, he got destroyed. Like he beat the tar out. He beat him like twenty times. Yeah, he hit him like twenty times with that chair. One or two of those shots hit him dead square on the head. But well, he did I, post the picture on Instagram. He was fucked up. Yeah, he looked. He he there was no up. way he wasn't after that. <laughs> he was. There's no way he wasn't in a bad way. He went home. What he you felt, get, Janky. He oh. felt every one of those chair shots. His back must. He just vibrated the rest of the night. So, like, we 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 repackaged Jinder Mahal as the same guy he was. Like, yeah. I agree with you, Derek. Why would we get rid of the Singh brothers? At least they were entertaining. Yeah. Yes, they were. I, I, were too. Yeah, I liked them. I mean, it was this goofy, stupid little brothers. thing. You I know, it's them. fine. Especially whenever they became a tag team and they were the Bollywood boys. Yeah. Like, yes, yes, I, yes. They, they, Those guys. Oh, man. Now that I think about it, do you remember when, uh, oh, when Brock Lesnar just chucked those dudes? I thought he killed both of them. I thought he must have threw both of those guys right on their heads like three times. Dude, little known fact, Brock Lesnar is not a fan of Bollywood. No. <laughs> and speaking of, did you guys see that picture of Brock Lesnar? With the, the, uh, with the ponytail? The and the with the yeah. Viking braid in, in yeah. training? and Yeah. yeah. I dig it. That's right. good. It looks mean. He looks mean I honestly expected a surprise appearance from him. I'm, you know, surprised yeah, it didn't. We got fucking Goldberg. We got John Cena yeah. as well. Look, yeah, hey, you I'm can't not, pay uh, for Cena. You can't pay for Cena, Goldberg, and like that. We're, we're, that's that's uh, all the money they just saved uh, from but, firing. Okay, then the fucking roster. leave Bill Goldberg at home. Like I, I, I don't know. It, it's like do. It's like people listening to us are fucking watching Monday Night Raw. It's like fucking rerun. We're telling the same fucking story. Leave this fucking guy at home. His matches have not gotten any better in fact they've gotten worse every single time out well, of the what, they four here he is challenging time. for a title they've they've well, gotten way worse than the first one the first well, one was so, like okay all right well i mean if now you we're remember, trying to do jackhammers in spots that we should never fucking do this because he can remember do this anymore if you remember he had a he had a match against the undertaker that went it couldn't yeah, have really gone it any worse than, almost died yeah it couldn't have really gone any worse than it did um, yeah. I mean, I guess they could have both actually died and that would have been worse, but it, it was, it was not, it, that one was the, the ones after that have been significantly better. Although that's not saying that the bar was high. I'm just saying they've been, that well, I, his, match be against, that. his match against Drew McIntyre was not good. Not good. What was that? Was that, I mean, last or that, was that Royal Rumble? It was only like a minute and a half. Yeah, it was. It was bad. It was good. Claim Morton, what, two, three times? It was bad. It should have not even had to have claimed Morton because he's not worth his finishing move. Uh, I don't know. I, I popped bad. when he got Clay Morton. I liked bad. it. I bad. like to watch Bill, Bill Goldberg lose. Uh, you know what I like? Not seeing Bill Goldberg on my television screen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could see him in a Hall of Famers. Type uh, of deal, I don't even legends want to episode, done. whatever. <laughs> well, it's done. You know, we got to have those. I hate legends episodes. But oh, I'm done. You guys love them. You Stay and your home, ratings. Pal. Stay on, pal. Although surprisingly, he did get a very large crowd pop. Yes, well, yeah, yeah. If I was one. there, I'm gonna pop for him. Of course, but I'm the only one. As I sit here on my couch, I'm not. Yeah. He didn't pop. He didn't get as loud a pop as Edge did. 
No, no. So that's another thing. People are like, oh, well, I don't understand why you're mad about Goldberg when you're okay with Edge and Cena. Yeah, because that makes sense. Edge is also like 10 years. They're both like 10 years younger than Goldberg. Yeah, like, Goldberg Edge doesn't have it anymore, him. man. He is like, unsafe. Edge is, Edge is not 50. And Goldberg's like, Edge is like 47. I think Bill Goldberg is like 56 or so. 56. Hold on. How old is Bill Goldberg? I think he's 54. But it doesn't matter because Sting's 62 and he's still doing the damn thing. Sting, Sting's not doing jackhammers, though. Like, yeah, you that's are way point. too Sting's old to hold another grown dude, man in a jackhammer. Yeah. I'm sorry. The Scorpion Death Drop and the Scorpion Death Lock are not, uh, <laughs> do not require you to have the ability to to lift a man over your head and hold him there for yes. uh, an extended period of time. Uh, it just invo- has, you have to hold him here and go, boom. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to tell me that the curb stomp was banned and that AJ Styles' finisher Styles Clash was banned for a minute there, but this old fuck can do a jackhammer? Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to let him do a jackhammer, but, you know, it's, I mean, he's in impressive shape for 54, but I, no, that doesn't mean he can wrestle. Listen, that's great. I mean, uh, the doctor's giving him that TRT, and I'm sure he's, you know, enjoying some of those Mexican supplements. And, you know, if he is, he is. If he isn't, he isn't. He looks great. I could only wish that I looked that good at 36 as he does at 54. But I don't because I like pizza. But I also know. He does. It's true. I also know that if I was 54 years old, I'd keep my fucking ass at home. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, because I made my money, pal. <laughs> right? uh, let it's a young time. man have a spot, motherfucker. It's time to start investing in some young guys. But like no, Ed, we were 47. Uh, listen, he had his moment. It's over. It's done. Yeah. Bye, bud. Yeah. Like, I'm glad you're here. I can't wait to watch your feud with Seth Rollins. But I swear to Christ, if he comes back and he fucking challenges for the Universal Championship again, I'm going to lose my shit. And I love Edge. Fair enough. Okay, Except. you had your moment, pal. And I really wish that it would have worked out for you. It would have been a great sentimental thing for you and for all of your fans and, and the WWE universe as a whole. But Unfortunately, yeah. you ran into the buzzsaw that is Roman Reigns. So I, I don't. I so what? What kind of credibility does does Bobby Lashley gain from beating Goldberg right now? Nothing. I mean, I think you know maybe solidify to WWE, not to. I, I think that it solidifies him as. I think they want to put Bobby Lashley on nah. the nah. on the level. I'm just saying. I think they want to put him on the. Roman Reigns level. I feel like Ro- Roman beat Goldberg. Did he not? Have they ever clashed or no? Yeah. They have? Roman Pretty beat sure. him. Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I think so, too. Anyway. Yes, I agree with this. Doesn't matter. Goldberg's uh, okay. terrible. I got Why is he there? I'm over it. I, I mean, you're not going to get any arguments from anybody over here. We were over it last time it happened, and here we are again. So well, here we are again. later. Exactly. We went out. Motherfuckers lost like six, six of his last like eight matches or some dumb shit. And they've all been title matches. Like, why is that cool? It ain't. It, it don't make no fucking sense. It's like wiping before you poop. It don't make no sense. Well, you know, if they let him Ooh. go, AEW is just going to sign him. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't you fucking know. No, no. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, Vince, you better put Please, me in the title Con, Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Moving on. So, Nikki A.S.H. Wins the women's it. money in the bank. I loved it. Good for her. I love it. And then turns it. around on Monday night her. and cashes in on Charlotte Flair. I loved it. I popped hard. I'm glad you did, bud. I watched why that. You, okay, so why do you day, love like, that? Woo-hoo! You love that, but you I hate Alexa Bliss. You know what? That's I'm turning around. a corner on Alexa Bliss. That's coming around. Okay. No, no, no. You are not I'm allowed to come you, around on, until you defend on. yourself. I'm going to tell, you, tell you the exact moment that I turned the corner on Alexa Bliss, and I don't, I don't hate it violently anymore. 
there was a point in time where Eva Marie was doing her Eva Marie thing, and Alexa was standing behind her in the ring, and Eva Marie turned around, and Alexa scared the shit out of her and just like, screamed in her face. It was like, Rah! and like, even like scared the crap out of her. It looked real. I, I that I turned the page on it. It was for me. I laughed. I thought it was good. And then Alexa laughed and like bounced back to her corner. And I was like, you know what? I'm I'm into that now. Okay. As long as she's not doing magic, I'm cool. Yeah, I mean, as long as she's not disappearing or shooting fire, so, like that needs so to be over. This past week, you know, she came to the ring. She had her little her little like leather like Angelica skirt thing, you know, because we likened her ring attire to Angelica from the from the Rugrats, right? We did, yes. And and mm -hmm. she pulled it off and you know, she had on regular wrestling ring gear this past week, you mm -hmm. know, and, and and I'm into it because maybe they're turning the corner on her and they're just going to let her be a dark character and yeah. they're not going to make her be magical, a magical witch anymore. Maybe they're just going to be let her be this dark Bray Wyatt type character, right? Without all the extra bullshit. Yeah. And that's the direction they need to go with her. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think I think she could do that. And I think, you know. They'll probably have to at some point if they want to turn her baby face again or bring her back to her the character she was previously. They're gonna have to like you know the mean schoolgirl. They're gonna have to like do some kind of exorcism or something. But you know at this point she seems it, uh, all all apparently she's having a blast with it and Vince likes it. So it is what it is. Same thing with the Nikki Ash thing. Uh, Vince likes it. Apparently She's that was Nikki us. Nikki Cross's yeah. idea. That was Nikki Cross's idea. It's pretty I fucking mean, sad that like it takes something like this to to give her the recognition that she's earned. She did some great work with Sanity. I don't, I don't understand oh, yeah. what, what, what she, why all of a sudden. I felt like her her entire run uh, in NXT, even when she was a singles, right before they brought her up, uh, she challenged Shayna Baszler for the title. If you remember, yep. And she didn't tap to the Karafuda clutch. She just passed out. And, uh, like she was the whole time, like, yes, hit me more, pay more pain. Yes. And, uh, she just passed out. In the Derek, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Do you think they put the title on uh, Nikki cross because they released her husband? No, no, I, I really don't think that so much. I really think that honestly, they just wanted to take the Charlotte number up one more and then move on to the next thing. I'm very surprised oh, they took that it three happened three so away quickly, from her this honestly. week. Yeah, they dropped is, three from her. They took, took three the, from her this week. The three NXT reigns are mm, not no because longer because NXT's on. fucking developmental again. Yeah. Remember, it doesn't fucking matter because they called her the eleven times. They, they all the eleven times. All champions. the developments like, we made. Well, Nine we're gonna have to run three off on her real quick so she can get yeah. back up there again. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to flip flop that title to get her back to fourteen real fast. Fucking NXT getting the shit. From fucking Vinnie Mac can suck a dick. Okay, it's not it's not Paul's fault, Vince. Okay, that his Tuesday two hour show is better than your Monday fucking three hour show. Okay, it's not Paul's. So much fault. better. So much better. It's your fault. Yeah. Stop ruining yeah. fucking good talent. Tell him, Walter. It's bullshit. bullshit. I'm fucking tired of it. Moving I on. swear to God. I swear to God. I heard, I read a report today that they're going to make Tony Storm a fucking baby face on SmackDown. Oh, she's like a terrible a baby face. White meat baby face. She's like, a terrible yep, baby face. They're going to fucking ruin her. I'm done. There, she's a terrible baby face. I'm done. I'm going to start watching. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll start watching watch. Impact. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so if you're not busy on Wednesdays, once you get over your WWE bullshit, there's a show on at 8 o'clock. You can it's check got it a lot out. Of old WWE okay. Guys on okay. It, yeah, it, there, it there is. There is a lot of old WWE. Hey, hey. <laughs> it needs to captivate my attention too, pal, and it's not doing it. It got me a couple of weeks ago, but it didn't uh, fucking hook me last week. So that's funny. I totally bought. Did you see? So yeah, last week's God, last week's dynamite. Like I know it was like the first day of like their two day pay per view, and like I didn't watch the second day, and maybe that was the day second that was good. Today. Oh, it is. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought dead. it was Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it's it's just there's just TV stuff that's special. Man, for uh, for what was supposed to be special, it was not. It was not special. I watched it about ten minutes special. of it. It was. I mean, you know, they had Alistair Black come out. That was or uh, Malachi Black come out. That was probably the best part of this part of part of the night. But even that was sort of inconsequential 
It's just another. Hey, 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 hey. We got another new TNT title design on Wednesday. Don't. don't What's this, like the do. fourth one? Yeah. Man, they just so, can't. Why is it still the TNT title? It's not even going to be on TNT. Hey, for, they're not going like, to change the name, Bob. So on TBS, it's going to no, be the no, TNT no. It'll title. be the TBS title. No, it, it will not. It'll have all the little bubble letters and look stupid. It'll be like the super Kind of like your fucking face. God, so violent. What? What is for? What? Listen, pal. I'm I'm not happy this week. Okay, Walt I'm not is salty. He should say salty. That's what Walt. we should have. It should. That's what I was exactly about to say. Tom, hey, tell me you got some bad news Walt. for his ass. Hey, you salty. I know my bad news was just that, like my I had a day where like not everything, nothing, everything went fine. But it was just a little bit. Eh. Hey, hey, nobody cares. Like, I, yeah, I mean, that's why we didn't talk about it at the beginning of the show. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. All right, nobody cares. That's good. I don't this, fuck. this this fucking hornet sting hurts. Okay. But, oh, I mean, you right. want me to come fucking kiss it for you, sweetie pie? I do actually. If you could come over, that'd be great. Uh, do you have beer? No, actually, for the first time in like a long time, I don't. Well, then I'm I gonna know. stay right here with my whiskey. Pal. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Did you get hey, a new so- snifter? No, th- I th- this is a a Norlin glass. Ah, oh. poor snifter. R.I.P. Let's see. R.I.P. Wow. Yeah, that was a that was a rough day. Yeah. R.I.P. It was a rough day. Um. So speaking of AEW, like let, let's talk about Andrade real quick. Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah. So how about this? That. How about this fucking idiot comes out and he says that Alberto Del Rio is like a fucking terrible person because he's starting his own company to get work. Yeah, bro. I saw that. I think you shared it. Bro. Yeah. Bro. I think it's kayfabe. It sounds bro. like kayfabe. Like, you just fucking supported this guy like three weeks ago on fucking Instagram. But isn't like, he fighting him now? Like, is no, he they, he he's not doing that now. He backed oh. out of that. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh. So it sounds like there's some heat. Well, so yeah. maybe what happened, and let's you know, there's a language barrier. So maybe what happened is somebody explained to Andrade, "Hey, look, this Salbert the River guy. He's uh, he's bad news, uh, and here's why." And I and Andrade was like, "Oh shit, I didn't know that." But he said it in Spanish. And, uh, <laughs> oh, mira. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's like, I didn't know that. So, <laughs> anyway, he goes, well, fuck. I can't work with this guy. This this Albert the River guy, is a, he's a bad guy. He's a bad, bad man. <laughs> and uh, so we told him to go F himself. And, you know, he was pieced together in his in his brain that uh, mm-hmm. that, that he, he can't get work anywhere. because he's uh, So he had to start his own promotion. So. Yeah. Maybe that's the case. And Derek, uh, you know, yeah. Andre, or uh, Al- Albert the River was in the news twice this week. He does. He, he was. He had a uh, yeah. a, a pretty uh, volatile little interview there. Um, kind of made some accusations. Kind of <sighs> trying to defend himself, saying he wasn't an issue, and that she just needs to keep her mouth shut. Basically, from what I understand, or he'll Man, start it, dropping it, he, some info. And he made it sound like they had like this, like. You know, gag order on one another worth millions of yeah. dollars. And for those of but you that are unaware, have any money in the bank. For those of you that are unaware, we're uh, we're talking about one page of WWE fame that you know had kind of come out and said that Albert the River beat the fuck out of her a couple of times, and Albert the River has since come out and said, no, 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 Page beat the fuck out of me like five to seven times, and like there's police documentation. And we've got this little gag order and, you know, we've got a bribe between the two of us for millions of dollars. And um, it, it's it's all kind of fucking crazy. It's, well, this that is why sounds you don't like, screw with that, crazy that sounds like the kind of thing that somebody who is an abuser would make up over a long period of time to try to uh, smooth over their own reputation. Maybe that's actually but what he believes. If there in is literally police files, then I mean, have you seen you them? Because uh, Albert the River's been arrested. I Page love doing not. this. 
I love putting the two of you against each other and just oh, you're not putting back anybody against each other. I don't think uh I don't no, think I'm, I'm not Alberto is anybody's favorite guy. Uh and uh, you know I don't know. He's, I used to be a big Alberto guy, but you know Hey, I, listen, I I loved him whenever he played for the St. Louis Cardinals. Did he play for the Cardinals? Did he really? Yeah, you didn't know JR? That? No, Jim, I didn't. Yeah. Where did he go to college? Uh, Iowa. <laughs> get out of here. Are you serious or are you just fucking with me? He's not, he, get out of here. <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know. Uh, All right, whatever. Moving Alberto, on. he hits hits a lot of home runs, and then he like went and played for, the, for, for Los Angeles. Oh, uh, is that not the, uh, not the same uh, person? No, there's there's more than one Albert in the world. This one's from um, the river, not from the pool yeah, holes. This is, this is the river. Uh, Albert I'm, the river. Yes, yes. Not, not pool holes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Damn then, it. I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, what else going on? Andrade Andrade had a had a crap first match too. Yeah, I like his uh, I like his entrance shit though. Yeah, his entrance stuff was good. I like the 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 match. Yeah, I hope, he, I hope he Death works out ripping the suit off a little better because it seemed a little clunky. You know, but hey, it was his first listen, try. Listen, all I'm saying is he stole that gimmick from Cesaro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he stole all of gimmicks. Like all the he, all of his gimmicks are not. He's 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 got listen, half of Eddie's gimmicks. I don't be don't be shocked if he doesn't. Yeah, don't be shocked if he doesn't. Uh, do the thing where he whacks the chair and then tosses it and lays down to, to get a win in the next uh, month. Listen, I'd be okay with that. I'd be fine. I with really that. would. Yeah, I, would I love pop. that gimmick. I would pop. I pop every time somebody does that. I pop. It's been over a year since I've seen it, and I still like it. I would love it if he came out in like a Ric Flair robe. He just that'd be good too. Just start just just <laughs> start doing other people's gimmicks every week. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Thank I would you, love, father-in-law. You know what I would love. <laughs> I would love for Alberto Del Rio to just go away and Me too. Us continue to not have to talk about him for stupid ever? shit ever. That'd be all right. But unfortunately, he keeps winding up in my news feed every week. And, you got to uh, change that news feed, homie. I, I, I did. And yeah, he clicked the popped X up back. elsewhere. Back. But he came I back. Changed it and he came back. I changed it and he came back. Mm. So, um, Big event this past weekend. I mean, we've already kind of touched on it a little bit, but you know, um, it, it's been do- well documented on this show that one of our one of our own is a very very big fan of this pay per view that just happened on Sunday, Money in the Bank. Derek, yes, sir. Derek. So, being as Money in the Bank is your favorite favorite gimmick pay per view, yeah, right? And Tom sure. and I both tend to like Elimination Chamber. Oh, uh, the um, Rumble, man. The Rumble's the best one. Yeah, but the Rumble, I wouldn't even consider a gimmick at this point in time. The The Rumble is its own thing. It's like, temple. Yes, yeah. it's tent. So Not the Rumble, I don't know. Derek, how, how, how do you feel that Money in the Bank 2021 stacked up for you? Um, To be honest with you, after I watched the Women's Money in the Bank, which kind of pissed me off, it was fine, but I just hated what they did to Alexa. I thought that was stupid that they buried her under ladders. The next two matches were somebody. very disappointing. And at that point, I went to bed and ended up finishing it the next day. Um, honestly, though, it redeemed itself quite well, in my opinion. It wasn't the best money in the bank. Um, to be to be honest, and I, I know this isn't going to be a very popular opinion, but I really, really enjoyed the pre-taped uh, cinematic money in the bank that we had had during COVID. I thought that was really fun. I enjoyed um, it. I mean, yeah. it wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but like for, you know, what it was during the time that it was, I, I thought that it was very well done. And obviously we weren't going to do that, that this year because now we can actually have it in front of fans. But I thought that they, uh, <laughs> I have, I thought they killed Ray and then they didn't kill Ray. And it was like, well, what? Cause they just like threw him off a building. They threw him off Titan Tower. He just shot yeah. up a couple weeks later. Yeah, it was like, they knocked his eye out and then he got his eye back. It's like Ray. Ray is not subject to kayfabe. No, well, no. He, he is, but for just for a little bit. On the other side of that building was also yeah, just the, for a the giant. He's dead for just a minute. In his monster truck that Hulk Hogan pushed him off the side of it with. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, it was it was it was good. I felt like the men really redeemed the whole thing for me. The men's money in the back match was awesome. Um, really good. Time. I wouldn't know. That's when all the shit happened with Peacock. Uh. Well, I didn't try to watch it live. I mean, I did, but then eventually I was like, "Fuck this," and I turned it off. Once Charlotte Flair won her match, I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to." That bed. was a super this good is- match, though. Like they, they really. Uh, that was a good match, man. I, I know, I know, I know. Charlotte beat her, and I know you're like, ah, oh, just feed everybody. To Charlotte. But it, yeah, you know, and you don't even look like a beast anymore. You look much skinnier. You're not, you know, Charlotte. You're. I went to Hollywood and got a lot of plastic surgery, Charlotte. No, so it's she's got actually. I feel like she got unplastic surgery. If you're, if we're, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what she should really look like. I guess. There's been so many versions of her face over the years here in a short succession of time. Tom, what do you think about Money in the Bank, bud? I liked it. So uh, for me, I thought the Money in the Bank matches were both good. I enjoyed both of them. Uh, not the women's, not as I didn't. I don't know that I enjoyed it. It wasn't as good of a match as the men's one, uh, but I liked that Nikki won because uh, I like Nikki and she was very happy, and that made me happy because I like Nikki. Uh, I thought that the uh, Edge versus Roman with Seth Rollins kind of interfering, getting her—I I liked that whole thing, that whole dynamic. I thought was really, really good, uh, and and I thought it worked really, really well. Um, and I even really liked the build-up to it when Seth laughed at Edge and walked up to him and said, "You you can't beat Roman. He's got your number, man." Like that was such a good. For me, like that's if that's the epitome of like Seth Rollins heel, and I feel like I'm gonna get some really good out of that and out of him and Edge. Um, but yeah, the men's money in the bank was super good. I even liked the Raw Women's Championship match, uh, Rhea versus Charlotte. I thought they put on a good match. Yes, I understand. There's feeding of they're feeding Rhea to Charlotte, right? They just yes. did that. Like she hasn't been up here that long, and they they fed her to her uh, already. It's just what happens. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll be interested to see how they how, how they they produce her moving forward. Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm interested too because are they gonna like make her more of a heel so that she can feud with Nikki now? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but Kofi Kingston versus Bobby Lashley, I thought was sort of the low point in the night. Uh, that was a, that was a terrible match. Um, um, I mean, it wasn't the world's greatest match, but. They definitely told their story, and I it sucked. that's why I'm saying like Biggie winning the Money in the Bank, and then him to not show up and defend the New Day's honor on Monday Night Raw is a miss. Oh, and the kickoff! Season. The kickoff was one of the better kickoffs that we've seen in yeah. a long, long, long time. Yeah. The Usos versus the Mysterios. And the you Usos. know, it'd be awesome if I could just like get drunk and go out and get a couple DUIs and get a giant fucking raise and a giant promotion. Uh, get a title shot. Get a title shot. Title yeah. reign. Title reign, get a reign out of it. Ah, what is that? Seventh, their seventh reign, or is this their eighth? Seventh, I believe. Seventh, yeah. Listen, it's, it's not that the Usos. Those, those belts being taken off of Dominic, that makes me happy. Listen, it, it's not that the Usos aren't oh, worthy boy. of being tag team champions. It's just that the timing's really, really shitty. And like we touched on this last week, and like, yeah, we all want Jimmy to get his shit together because he's fun to watch. But it's like, eh, you made a business decision, and I get that, and I understand that, and I'm okay with it. But, you know, like you're trying to set this image that you're this family friendly company and then you got some shit like this going on. It, it, it calls some ethics into into question a little oh, bit. Yeah. Not that I any mean, of us in the world think that you can't just keep letting this guy drink and drive and, and not doing anything about it. And still having him in the biggest, mainest storyline. I mean, if, if this I mean, was the fir- this was the first time, that's one thing. But like this, he's going to he's going to kill somebody at some point. Ah. I mean, are they going to like. What are they going to do then? I mean, are they going to Vince Neal him? Are they just going to like, you know, say, oh, well, what if he kills Naomi? <laughs> She's in the car with oh. him when they're driving. Hey, they you moved know, her I mean, to SmackDown apparently. I mean, I, I think they're going to be reshuffling everybody to keep the families together again. That's what they did pre-pandemic before they were, when when they were traveling around, they kind of kept their, kept the families together. So, you know, I imagine Becky yeah. will go wherever Seth is and, you know, vice versa, just so everybody's working on the same day. Keep the I'm ready together. for Naomi to get a new gimmick. I'm really over the glow gimmick. Yep. It was cool uh, when it first the, happened. I've been over the glow down. gimmick for years, pal. <laughs> when yeah. did she get that glow gimmick? 2011? 2012? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> it's like it's been that long. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's the only gimmick she's ever had. Other than being a Funkodactyl. She was a Funkodactyl. Oh, she was a Funkodactyl. You're right. That was her so first. Oh, oh, look at that. Regis Clay came up again. Oh, it's like it's meant to be, pal. <laughs> so I I enjoyed Money in the Bank for what it was. Uh, I, You know, the... The Universal Championship match was good. Um, I mean, I, I didn't get to watch the kickoff show, and I didn't get to watch the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, um, although the Those spots that I saw from Ricochet were were excellent. I'm glad to wow. see that he's becoming relevant again. Pretty um, Ricky, You put Pretty Ricky and you put uh, John Morrison in those matches for exactly what you think you put them in those matches for. They're not there to win. They're, they're there for the sparkle. At yeah. one point, the drip, at one drip. point, I thought Johnny, drip. I, I thought Johnny Drip Drip was going to win the damn thing. I, I thought he might have too. Yeah. He was. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. right on, I thought but, Ricochet was going to have it a couple times when yeah. he got up there. I was like, he's probably going to jump. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> Boys, that spot where Biggie, Walt. I'm sorry, I know you haven't seen him, but the spot where Biggie, I forget who he takes off the top of the ladder with him. It might have been John Morrison. I think it was John. I think I know what you're talking like, about. Oh my god. I yeah, there were a couple, yeah, the big ending. It was John Morrison. That's yeah. by yeah. then the, the the fix had come through. So like I saw the end. I saw the nice big uh, big ending spot off the ladder with John Morrison. I saw the KO ladder uh, power bomb spot. Like mm -hmm. you know what I saw of the match. It was it was good. You know, um, hey man. Uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty good show. Derek, if you had to give it a letter grade, pal, what would you what would you grade it? Um. Hmm. I'm going to say overall, it wasn't the, the best thing. I'm going to go C, C, C plus. I'll C give it a plus. plus. I'll okay. give it a plus. I'll give it a plus. Okay. Yeah. Tom, what about you, bud? I'm just going to give it a hard B. I think it was good. I, I think it was good. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't WrestleMania. It's not supposed to be. Oh. No. Um, but uh, I, I thought for their first, you know, pay-per-view kind of back, uh, you know, get, getting into it, getting on the, getting it, getting on, on with things. Um, I liked it better than last year's Money in the Bank. I don't remember. Did I? What did I give last year's Money in the Bank? Um, I think you gave it like a C minus. Oh yeah, because it's because they threw Ray off the building. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I give it a B. I give it a B. Uh, oh. I thought it was. I thought it was good. Uh, the only match I didn't really like was Kofi versus uh, Kofi versus uh, Bobby Lashley, but you know. It is what it is. Maybe I had too high of expectations for that match. I, mean, I do really like Kofi, and I, I think Bobby Lashley's been very good lately. I just don't. I just don't think they lived up to maybe what I was hoping. Uh, I would agree with that. I, I felt like they could have worked a really, really good match. Um, but as long as like Big E gets inserted into this picture somewhere to defend the New Day's honor, I think that it all makes sense and it will all be worth it. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good possibilities i think uh coming into this especially with the superstar shakeup coming so, coming at some point here um i think at this point you know if they got to move seth and edge to to monday nights maybe put becky on back on monday um you know they, they got to do something to make monday worthwhile if they put if they bring over biggie I mean, you know, they maybe they got up Perry and Cross, but you know they fucked that up. Uh, I don't know that they brought him up. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the whole deal with that is. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where that goes. That seems like, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think he's coming back again. I don't feel like he's going to be there permanently. I think he went back to NXT, and that's. Um, it's dumb. I mean, I really felt like it was a one-off. Unless they're going to do a big feud with Jeff Hardy, and he's just going to beat the tar out of Jeff, and they're going to have a back and forth, uh, you know. Maybe Jeff Hardy's on his uh, retirement run, his retirement babyface run, and and maybe yeah, he's so he can get AEW. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> with everybody else that leaves WWE, <laughs> with Daniel yeah. Bryan and Braun Strowman and Andrade <laughs> and Alistair Black. <sighs> Who am I missing? Jericho, John Moxley, Jim Ross. Jim Ross. It's got to be Tony more. Shivani. Tony. Sh well. Well, the, he's WCW. The, the six months that Tony worked for WWE doesn't really count. Yeah, he's Same. been all around. He went to Impact as well for one night. One night. Yeah. One night only. Yeah, was, that night, was that the night that he tried to fist fight uh, Mike Tanay? Yes. <laughs> he was right in that. Look, I, I forgot would wanna, about I Mike Tanay. I want to fist fight Mike Tanay. <laughs> Uh, understandable. 
So, guys, I have a question for you. Oh, I guess I didn't give my letter grade. I'd give it a B. I think we advanced some stories, and I think that, uh, you know, we, we got to see some things, and um, I'm, I'm okay with it. I give it a B. So, uh, guys, I got a question for you. So what we're here for, Walter. We're well, here to give I answers. Sure fucking hope so. Um, what was your match of the week, Tom? Ooh, I knew you were going to ask me that. So I got I got I got to mention it would have been had the uh had 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 the Otis and 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 uh had had that match gone on a little longer I think that would have been my match of the week. Um but you know obviously Chad Gable came in and you know mucked everything up and Alpha Academy for the Academy whatever and then they kind of smashed them and it, it was more of a segment than it was a match so it would have been that uh but it wasn't so what was my match of the week uh you know i, I mean for all intents and purposes i feel like it's got to be you know the roman reigns versus edge i think that's i mean i it, that was just the better match it was the best match of the week it really just was and i had the most fun watching that uh, I really like Seth Rollins' involvement in it. I like John Cena came out at the end. The match itself was good. I, I mean, I, I thought that was sort of the perfect blow-off to their their little feud there. Roman came out on top. The man is obviously on fire. Nothing else should have happened. Um, and now I'm going to get to see Edge feud with Seth Rollins and John Cena. Awesome. back. I, you know, I, I have a feeling John Cena is going to lay down for Roman as well. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, so I mean, for, for me, that whole storyline and everything going on there, uh, really just that's that's captivating to me. That's what I tune in to watch, and I will continue to tune in to watch that because now they've implanted two storylines that I want to watch that came out of one. So yeah, we'll go with that one. Cool, yeah. Derek. All right, fellas. So mine's going to come out of left field a little bit, but. You all know that I have been trying desperately to watch Slammiversary all week. Yes. And I've had nothing but issues with my potato internet. Um, I have been able to watch my potato. First, I, I mean, I'm about to just, you know, throw an extra antenna on my roof or something. I don't know what to do at this point. It, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't work. I, I've Jeff gotten through Jesus about to take, take, give him a cable. Yes. When Please take your dick ship up in the air <laughs> with this cable, sir. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, hey, I got to watch about this, 45 real quick, minutes pal, of it. Real quick, pal, did you see the meme yeah. uh, on, on Facebook that said, I didn't know my wife ordered a Jeff Bezos spaceship model. I didn't know she was into space travel, and it was a... No, it, it is a vibrator. I didn't know you. My wife was so in this uh, yeah. I love when the pod landed and it's just straight up a mushroom head. I'm like, really? That's that's what you land back on Earth. That's, that's that great. was you. That's what you guys designed, huh? Just a, just a, <laughs> just just a dick. <laughs> just, yep. Just a just a stiff dick there. All right. Good job, Amazon. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> so anyways, Derek, I interrupted you. Slam anniversary. Uh yeah, all right. So Slam anniversary opening match. This is for the X Division Championship. This was actually a wild ass match. It was something different that I'd not seen before. I couldn't tell you. I can only tell you one guy that was in it. His name is Chris Bay. I do know who that is. Oh, Chris Bay, yeah. I didn't really recognize any of the other guys, so I know that's kind of a I, I hate to say that, but overall as far as the match goes, that was entertaining shit, fellas. That was something that you, I hadn't seen in years. If I've heard nothing know. but great, great comments about Slam Anniversary. Yeah, it was different. You know, there's there's ropes at the top and an X. You got to climb like across, grab the belt. Good stuff. There was a little, little bit of a flub up at the end because originally they were saying, you know, you got to grab the belt and keep possession of it until you hit the mat. Well, they just called it for the guy as soon as he grabbed it at the top and then of course they're like oh no the referee just whispered to me that it's fine this is this the other rule was not in effect like we had stated previously like all right good job excalibur <laughs> but uh 
But yeah, uh, fellas, it's it a now. good match. It was fun. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. Um, something different. Something different to see. Something that I, I hadn't, uh, you know, been a part of before. So that was good. It was worth good. checking out. Good. Well, I hope you can uh, enjoy the rest of it. I, I fully um, intend to keep trying to fix it, man. I even considered trying to look at it at work and uh, possibly <laughs> risk getting an possibly alert. Possibly can. the... don't get, don't yeah. get canned to watch, uh, to watch an impact like, wrestling. Yeah, right? right? yeah, I should probably just, you know, hit up Dish Network for 20 bucks and here you go. Fine. Just fucking charge me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make tough decisions in life, pal. Yeah, at over, least it's only a twenty dollar pay per view. It's only twenty dollar pay per view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that, or we're having slam anniversary at Tom's house. Well, we can do so that I, too. Nah, do that. He doesn't want to watch it. Look at that face. He's like, no, nah, please don't make me watch that. I don't uh, want to watch it, but it's. Fine. I'll watch the opening match because you said it was good, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't want to. And I don't really trust you. <laughs> all, right, all right well what was your match of the week so uh my match of the week um tom i'm gonna have to go ahead and agree with you and talk about edge and roman reigns um well well so, well who'd have thought so well, listen, the plot thickens listen pal like you know I, i'm a sucker for a good in-ring story right and these guys came out there and, and they did something that nobody had had the opportunity to do in 70 plus weeks right they went out there and they worked that crowd and like they took their time. They let shit breathe. You know, they got the crowd chanting here and the crowd booing there. And, you know, they, they really commanded a presence inside that ring and, and really kept the crowd involved in a match that was otherwise kind of slow. But it was slow because they were trying to tell this story about this feud that they had had where. You know, Roman was. I didn't the feel guy. like it was that slow. I felt like there was just so much going on that, like, there was so many auxiliary things happening. That, uh, like, and that's yeah. that's fair too. But you know, like, I, in my mind, like, you know, the beginning parts where they were trying to set yeah. the tone for their story was kind of slow. Mm-hmm. You know, and and that's okay. I'm not I'm not bashing that. Like, I, I felt like they let shit breathe when they needed to let it breathe. You know, they they pushed the action when they needed to push the action. Um, man, the match was great. And I was texting my cousin like while it was on, and at one point they made me believe that Edge was going to win that match. They got me. They made me believe. That I he thought he was, was going to win a couple times too. And and that's what it's all about, right? If so, you watched like, SmackDown before, though, you kind of knew that he wasn't going to. I mean, you you knew anyways. <laughs> yeah, but. It, that's not the so you know like they they sold it like I thought he was going to do it I did and that doesn't happen very often because nah. I knew that Roman Reigns was the guy Roman Reigns is going to be the guy but it, they had me and, and you know the ref bump for me is kind of the only thing that like really ruined it for me right so, so I, like I felt like the ref they worked a very like late 90s early 2000s style match i thought and the ref bump i feel like is sort of quintessential for that type of match so for me it was almost the fact that it was the only ref bump of the night yeah and that's and that's like, fun. it made sense yeah but 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 the thing that I, I i'm criticizing here is like charles robinson goes down and then like we don't get the immediate interference that we should have gotten right yeah. like they went back and forth for a few minutes. You can't have both. You can only yeah. have one or the other. We had like a good solid five and a half minutes where there was no referee. Yeah, that's the other thing too. And I feel like it always happens with Charles Robinson is like he gets gently touched. Not gently. He got hit pretty hard. But <laughs> he was out for like ever. Like it, that wasn't a like. Uh, he, did, he, he was dead. Like why yeah. was he dead? And then they <laughs> sent Chad Patton down. I mean they, they pulled – you know, they pulled Charles Robinson out with the medical staff and like they made it look good and all that stuff yeah. was great. But just the timing of everything was just really, really bad. And, and you let the Usos come down and then the Mysterios came out and they stopped that from happening. And then Rollins comes out and then the chair leg comes out. It's like we had all of this with no referee. Yeah. Like, come lot. on, man. It was a long time. It was a, a lot long of people time. made that made their way down there before another referee showed up. You know, and, and that was the part that I was just like, man, what the fuck? 
Well, see, that's again very, very quintessential '90s, late '90s WWE. WCW was even worse, but uh, that's that's just how that stuff worked. And that's you know, to those nostalgia fans looking for those looking for those edge pops, that's those are edge matches, man. That's how those go. But you know, like I didn't hate the match, man. I didn't. No. Like I thought the match was awesome. It's just that little that little section there. It always it's always tough when it's like it seems like the rules are subverted for a little while and you're like, what what what? Takes you out of it. Because it's like you're you you want to be in kayfabe. Yeah. And then it's like, come on, man, let's just follow the fucking rules. Why 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 aren't the tag teams tagging? Why is everybody in the ring at the same time? Right. Like, yeah. I guess I'm just used to that because I watch AEW tag team matches every week. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a way to dig on yourself. So, I want to take this opportunity. I kind of want to talk about Roman Reigns before we head on out. Everything they've done with this guy since SummerSlam. Well, whatever the show was a week later after SummerSlam last year, they've done right. They're 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 building him. He hasn't. I they they said some ridiculous thing. He hasn't been pinned in a WWE ring since like 2018 or some shit. And okay, that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense to say that because you're building a megastar, right? Right. Yeah. And they're actually taking the time and they're doing it right. You know, a lot of people like I'm upset about the Goldberg thing, right? But but John Cena coming back makes a ton of sense because he's already beat Goldberg and yeah. he's already beat Brock Lesnar and he's already beat Seth Rollins and like you know all this stuff, right? He beat Cena too, though, didn't he? I I, I don't know, but and I don't think so. But the but but the storyline's great, right? Because you got John Cena coming back to to fight for his 17th record-breaking world championship against his unbeatable force, Roman Reigns. And, and the story's right there. And Cena's not going to win. They're going to make yeah. you believe Cena's going to win. And it's just going to be another notch in, you know, in the belt of Roman Reigns. And, man, they are just building this dude to the proper magnitude to give whoever – they deem fit the biggest rub ever because when he loses that universal championship, it has to be a quote unquote future star. It uh -huh. has to be. It has to be. Like they are setting Roman Reigns up to be a lifetime, like once in a lifetime type character in WWE. He's Vince has spent yeah. years jamming this guy down our throats, right? And, and we as the fans have always rejected him. I've always enjoyed his work. I always thought he was good. I've always enjoyed him. Derek doesn't. Derek Derek's not no. not not been a fan until recently, and you know, uh, I think that they're finally they finally hit their stride with this guy, and he is the biggest star that WWE may have ever created, ever. Mm, I don't know if he's going to overshadow uh, Steve Austin or The Rock. Uh, I mean, he's going to beat The Rock at WrestleMania. Maybe that'd be That's cool. The only way that this can end, it's that'd the only cool. way. And then they're going to put him at the very tippy top of WWE Mount Rushmore. And they've done it absolute to absolute perfection. That'd be cool. So I'm really, really enjoying the ride. I'm really enjoying the storyline with, with, with Roman Reigns. And, and I can't wait to see where it goes. That's all I got. Let's sign us out. Gentlemen, thank you so much. So, so much for for finding the time to, to record on this late day. Um, can't wait to talk to you guys next week. Hopefully we get all kinds of crazy shit goes on, right? That'd be yes. awesome. Makes our there lives might be better. crazy things happening right now. We don't know. There might be. Derek's probably got it, on, got it on the rewind ready to go. Um, I mean, I haven't had my TV on all all pod, so yeah. I know I'm, 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 I'm really pretty proud well we this can time. See, we can see it behind you when, yeah. when it's on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we yeah. could watch. We could watch AEW with you. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to throw on some good shit every once in a while. <laughs> Are those? Is that a donkey show? What the fuck is that behind Derek? 
Is that like blowing a horse? Anyway. So I, 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 I urge you to check us out on social media, both Instagram and Twitter, at one underscore fall WC. That's O-N-E. Um, check us out on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, you know that we exist. Please like and subscribe. And, and, above all else, comment. We will interact. All of us. Yes. All of us. It'll be lots of fun. Um, yeah, and if you're into the yo-yo thing, check out Tom over at Throws and Brews. Uh, he's got a couple couple good reviews that just came out. couple. Uh, I really on there. I really enjoyed your fight. Most of those. Yeah, 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 I really enjoyed your fight pad thing too. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I like that. The I I'm still playing. I want the new Mortal Kombat season to start. I finished the last one and uh in Grandmaster. I want to I want to get I want to go I want to go up one more. Hell I'm not yeah. gonna make it to Elder God, but ah, you might never say never. Well, just like you never say that Daniel Bryanson. Brian Danielson. Daniel Brian Bryanson. Danielson signed with AEW just to piss Pee Wee off. <laughs> he definitely did. Him and Ali Esther Black. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, just wait so. Up. What did he call him? What did he call him last week? Mor- Mordecai. No, he called him Machiavelli Black. Machiavelli <laughs> Black from, 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 from Dumbledore, Germany. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait till a new wrestling game comes out because that's going to be my creator wrestler right there. Magavelli Ma- Black <laughs> from Dumbledore, Germany. Oh, shit. I wrestle him in Dumbledore, Germany. <laughs> so, Magavelli Black. Wait, that's so, not Tommy Ed. <laughs> so, with all that being said, thanks for hanging out. It's all love. We'll catch you next week. One Fall WrestleCast. Peace.